Hey everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video and today we're going to be reviewing the top 5 roamers in Rainbow Six Siege. Now obviously this is my opinion and if you disagree as always make sure to let me know down below. This list is going to be based off the operators with the main purpose of roaming, not operators that have gained the role of roaming even though they probably shouldn't be. And other than that, let's jump into the video. So coming in and starting off with number 5, it is going to be Alibi. Alibi's versatility between anchoring and roaming can be argued, but I believe that her roaming capabilities are much more efficient, which is why she made this list. Alibi brought something to Rainbow we had never seen before at the time, which was the realistic hologram that gave her the ability to ping an enemy live whenever they shot this fake hologram. The hologram was never packed with matchups to weapons and skins, it was always a default Alibi loadout which did disadvantage this ability, but it is still powerful. Her weapon loadout consists of the MX4 Storm SMG, which deals 26 damage on 950 rounds per minute. This gun is honestly a really underrated and powerful weapon and it is overlooked due to its recoil and damage. This thing can really deal damage if you can control its recoil and it's a real danger for the attackers. For the rest of her primary loadout consists of the ACS-12 shotgun, which is honestly one of the weaker shotguns in the game and due to her having access to the Keratox and the Bailiff in her secondaries, I recommend bringing the better pistols with the MX-4 over the ACS any day and that is what makes Alibi number 5. Coming in at number 4 on this list we do have Vigil. Vigil is a mixed operator amongst players. He has a great loadout, but due to his ability basically doing nothing for your team, he can be a questionable pick majority of the time. But obviously, there are other players that are great at roaming and fragging with him, and he can be a great asset. Vigil's ability consists of the ERC-7 device, which gives him the ability to hide himself from drones' direct line of sights, but it still gives him a general area of where he is when you're droning. In all honesty, this could be better, but his loadout makes up for it and makes him a playable character and a great roamer when, re when used right. Vigil has access to the K1A submachine gun that deals 36 damage on 720 rounds per minute. This is a great gun to bring to the defensive team, it has little to no recoil and a decent magazine size which makes it efficient pick to bring to on the roam. His alternate option is the Boz G12 slug shotgun. This is a very fun shotgun that can be utilised in competitive play if you are a god, but its main purpose is for casual fun. With its recent addition of the ACOG, this gun can be utilised on spawn picks due to its one hit injure, along with it only having two shots until a, re a reload is required. Vigil is one of the few operators packed with two SMG secondaries consisting of the C-75 Auto and the SMG-12, which are both great weapons to bring as a secondary. The C-75 is easier to control option due to its short and recoil compared to the SMG-12, having a more difficult pattern between the two, and that is what makes Vigil number 4 on this list. Coming in at number 3 we have Ella. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that Ella's roaming capabilities are high. She brings to the table an intel and distracting gadget can, that can be utilised in a roam effectively to find enemies then attack as hard as possible. Ella brings to the defensive team her Grismont Mine, which is a throwable concussion grenade that can be stuck to any solid surface, and when an attacker comes within the radius of the, ga the gadget, they can suffer a concussion effect, which disorients their vision, hearing, and movement for a certain amount of time. Along with this powerful gadget, Ella brings a strong set of weapons to capitalise on people when they are distracted. Ella brings to the table the Scorpion Evo 3A1 SMG that deals 23 damage on 1080 rounds per minute. This weapon does not have an ensaged damage, but it makes up for it with its high rate of file, and it does have a controllable recoil once practiced and makes this gun so powerful to verse when attacking, especially if you're con concussed at the same time. Her alternate primary is the FO-12 shotgun, otherwise known as the Ella shotgun. This weapon is hands down the most annoying shotgun to face in the game, in my opinion. With Ella always roaming and pairing it with a powerful semi-auto shotgun and a trigger finger, your chances of surviving as an attacker are slim, and it is definitely frustrating when you die to this weapon. Pairing up with the weapons is the RG-15 pistol, which was the first sighted pistol to be added to Siege back in Operation Blood Orchid. This weapon is a great secondary to Ella's primaries and can deal damage on its own as well. Pairing up with this weapon is the RG-15 sighted pistol, and it was the first sighted pistol to be added to Siege back in Operation Blood Orchid. This weapon is a great secondary to Ella's primary, and can really deal damage on its own as well, and that makes Ella number 3 on this list. Coming in at number 2 we do have Pulse. Pulse brings an ability to the defending team that is purely made for roaming. Pairing this with some great weapons and skill, using Pulse to his full ability is a dangerous threat in casual and competitive play. Pulse brings to the defensive team his Heartbeat Scanner, which gives you the ability to live track an attacking operator as long as they are in the vicinity of your scanner. Utilising this to play below an objective is the best way to play Pulse, as you can pair up your scanner with a Nitro Cell while the enemy is still clueless and pick up an easy C4 kill from below on them even to counter a plant or a breach. In regard to the weapons, Pulse has a solid loadout bringing the UMP45, dealing 38 damage on 600 rounds per minute. This gun definitely deals damage, but accuracy is important when using this due to its slower than usual rate of fire. But if utilising this from the peaks from above or below, it really doesn't matter for its rate of fire, as you can secure easy kills. 
His other primary is the M1014 shotgun. This shotgun does hit hard, but there are obviously better alternatives. The best way to utilize this shotgun is to use it with the heartbeat scanner and do hard damage to clueless enemies through the walls or the floor. His secondaries also consist of the FBI SWAT loadout, the 5.7 USG, and the M45 MUSOC, which are both great secondary weapons to pair up with the primary loadout, and that makes Pulse number two on this list. And coming in at number one, as most of you expected, it was probably Kavira. As most of you are probably expecting, in terms of roaming, Cav is obviously the number one pick due to her pure goal in Siege is to utilize a silent step ability and creep up behind people. Kavira brings to the defensive team the silent step ability, and like Vigil, this ability really has no team meaning. Its goal is to be utilized by the player to frag out off a hard roam and slowly eliminate enemies, with her Luzion pistol. Being so damaging as well, this makes it easy for Cav. She also has the ability to interrogate enemies when they are injured, and when pulled off successfully can give away the location of every enemy on a live track for a certain amount of time. And with Cav having the only, only down pistol and the downing knife injure people, it is not a problem for Cav to make her a scary sight. Her primary weapon consists of the M12 SMG, which is a great weapon you can utilize if you're not using a pistol. This gun deals 40 damage on 550 rounds per minute, which is a solid statistic, and due to the fact that this shadows your pistol and can be forgotten, this weapon still does deal damage. The alternative is the Spaz 1215 semi-auto shotgun, which can be brought and used effectively due to Cab's roaming skills, and you can get into range of enemies easily to utilize this shotgun to its full potential by creeping up on them. For secondaries, there is of course the Lesion pistol, which is a great pistol that is obviously the recommended weapon to use when playing Cav due to its suppressor and high damage which fits her ability perfectly, and that wraps up, wraps up this list with Cav at number 1. And that is going to wrap up the top 5 roamers in Rainbow Six Siege. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought the picks were alright, and again, this is my opinion, so if you disagree, let me know down below. And just a reminder to anyone who made it to the end of the video that I do stream on Twitch every day at 7.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, so go click the link in the description and come watch. I'd love to see you guys there. And other than that, thank you for everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!